Hey everyone, so today I thought I'd go ahead and share with you this super cute twine binding tutorial. I was inspired by Sarah Elliott, and I'll link her video in the description box below. Please go check her out. Um, I saw her video years ago when she did an awesome video for twine binding, and since I've been so in love with seed beads lately, I figured I would want to go ahead and add seed beads to the twine or the thread that I use for this little mini book. So I created this mini book for my daughter and her BFF because I wanted to just have a little mini album for them. Um, they're going into sixth grade so this is just like their last year in elementary school. So, But I love this binding. I think it's so pretty with all the beads. And I love the cover of this. It's so cute. I made this little Polaroid using a Hello Bluebird die so they could put their photo in the front. And then I have all these pages that are removable because you just slip them in the twine binding. It's really awesome. So basically, I'm just gonna be showing you how I added the beads onto the twine. And yeah, if you guys wanna see how I created this, then just keep watching. So I basically followed Sarah's tutorial. I just kind of did my own thing. So I have the twine wrapped around the front and I added a little clothespin on the bottom so it could be um, held tight. And I just strung my twine or my thread that I'm using through a needle and I'm just threading my beads on. And every time I um, wrap it around to the front, I add more beads. Now I had only used four for this book. Um, I did do a little test run and I used I think it was 20 beads it turned out to look kind of crazy um, it was a little much I feel like the less beads you add on there the more fun it looks like the more interest it adds as opposed to if you were to add as many as I did before and then it looks kind of crazy so like I said every time I just wrap it around the front as you can see I add the beads on and I just make sure to scooch down the thread slash twine. Um, I use twine on the other book. On this book, I'm using um, embroidery floss. And like I said, I just scooch it down to make room for the next piece of thread. Go around, add more beads. Now I did do a little oopsie. <laughs> Um, on this book, I should have added a little bit more thread. So I had about six feet, which is like 72 inches of the thread um, for this size book. So this book fits about, mm, it's almost like a four by six album. Um, it might be four and a half by six and a half. I don't remember when I, when I created this, but yeah, I needed just a little more, so just make sure you have enough. Because once you're done, you're gonna have to go ahead and tie it like this. And then the piece that is on the right-hand side has to go underneath all those pieces of thread, like this. And then you are basically gathering all the pieces of thread. And then once you kind of move your beads around, like I kind of wanted some to be at the bottom. I just wanted to spread them around, you know. And then um, you're gonna need to tie a knot. Now, you would probably tie a bow, but like I said, I didn't have enough thread for this. So what I did is I just tied a knot, and then I went ahead and cut the excess off, and then I grabbed another piece of um, green thread and just went around that and created my own bow. Right here, I'm just fixing all the beads where I want them and moving the um, twine, embroidery floss, whatever you're using. I'm just moving that around and then making sure all the pieces of thread on the inside are even. And then I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and add my piece of thread over that knot or under that knot and tie a bow over it. Like this. So like I said, just make sure you have enough. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that excess and add my pages in. And I think it came out really, really cute. So I might go ahead and decorate this and show you guys how it turned out. I'm, I'm gonna see. 
Um, but I love this. I think it turned out really, really cute. I love the whole twine binding. Um, I haven't done it in a super long time, but I did create an album a while ago. I don't even know if I have the video on her still, but I just remembered it was a lot of fun to create and I wanted to use this for the girls album because I thought it was really fun. And like I said, I've been loving seed beads lately and it just gave me a chance to play with them even more. So this is what the binding looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please go check out Sarah's tutorial in the description box. She explains everything very, very well. And like I said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.